an international match of some substance, Alan. It's uh, quite a clash, isn't it, between these two big, highly rated countries? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one because uh, we've got some great players to enjoy out there and uh, they're in good form having seen them at their clubs. And this match today is France against Brazil. We talk about the highest level that a player can achieve, Alan. You had the honour of playing for England, and we've got two national teams here today. Oh, it's always a special moment. You pull on your nation shirt. Always a big game. This is no different. So this is how the hosts line up today. Alan, we're looking at the quality of, of women's football here and, and the Arsenal, your old club, they were very much at the forefront of developing it in uh, the UK. They were, yes, many years back now. Vic Akers, who's now the kit man at Arsenal, he was the manager for a number of years and uh, really enjoyed a lot of success. And it is a game played with real skill, perhaps not quite the physicality of the men's game, but in some ways the spectacle can be more enchanting because of that yes and I think the pace of the game has increased over the last few years certainly the technical ability is getting better and better all the time France have started this first half Le Sommer Usalia Tine to Henri all alone in the middle it's a fast start here they deserve that goal they'd be the better team early on well the goal was gaping it was an invitation you just had to accept and she did yeah, I don't think anybody would have missed that and certainly a player of her quality wasn't going to. Brazil have the lead. Valerie Gova. Now Masri, got to try and keep it in play better than that. One back very quickly. To Henri, now Tine. Le Sommer. Here's Busalia. Room now out of the wing. Now Tine. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Put into the middle. Cleared away by the defender. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Ball uh, back with France. Valerie Gova. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Henri. Now Tine. 
It'll be a throw. Masri. Here's Le Sommer. Opportunity in a wider area. The break is definitely on. Good clearance. A timely challenge. Henri. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. To bring them level. Super header. Narrowly wide. Yeah, the goalie was rooted to the spot there. Salia Le Sommer trying to thread a pass through but not successful can find some space here on the flanks and it will be a free kick here look at the wall they're trying to sneak an advantage the wall has to be back 10 yards referees making sure Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. And now the shot! Shot blocked here. These two countries going at it hammer and tongs, despite it being billed as a friendly fixture. And just the, the one goal margin in it at the break, Alan. Yeah, uh, there's been a good edge to it, uh, really. But it, all to play for. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see a comeback in that second half. Second period now to start with Brazil leading at the halfway point in the match. Putting on the squeeze again and forcing an error, really a wasteful clearance. Here's Busalia. And now the referee says free kick. Let's fly! Went for goal from optimistic distance and nearly found it. Yeah, it's a good effort. I think the keeper would have had it, though. Well, that was a nearly moment from the free kick. Well, that's a lucky, you know, because I don't that think the free kick... Renard. To Henri. Boussalia. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Now it's Govan. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Got the tackle in. Guiding it through the defenders. Real chance. Teammates arriving for the cutback here. And they've got it away from the danger. Keeper's ball.
Vivian Assay. Room now out on the wing. Now Marion Toro. Put into the middle. And the keeper can catch that one, no, no problem at all. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. Oh, these fans know not much time left to try and get an equaliser. It might be now or never. Now Tine. That's a wonderful tackle. The bright lights of Brazil. The special smiles of their wonderful travelling fans. They seem to be sold out wherever they go and you can't uh, blame them for following a team with such a vivacity. It's been good from Brazil. The shot's on! Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. And this is going to be a change here for the team that is leading. And it's clearly a tactical one to try and cement that winning position. Marion Toro. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. It's a very good interception. And out comes the goalkeeper, enjoying the chance to kick that one away. Well, here comes the support. This should wrap it up off the crossbar and back into the penalty area. Well read at a key time for the team here. Well, that's the way it has finished here with the whistle going now. A victory by a one-goal margin in an excellent international friendly. Yeah, and I think the winning team probably just edged it with the chances that they created and managed to take the one just to separate the two. France have started this first half. All alone in the middle. It's a fast start here. They deserve that goal. They've been the better team early on. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Could bring them level. Super header, narrowly wide. Yeah, the goalie was rooted to the spot there. Let's fly! Went for goal from optimistic distance. 